Right, welcome back to Point Lookout. We've still got to find this giant, enormous punga fruit thing that uh, is deep in the fucking backwoods of this place. I swear. We stopped, what, like right next to it? Probably something like that. Yeah, I think we stopped pretty much. Yep, there it is. Of course. Of course we stopped right next to it. I'm just going to rob all the all the wild punga fruit chilling out over here. I'm just going to steal it all. I'm just going to take all of it. I need it. I need it after trying to travel through this whole stupid area. Looking for this one giant ass punga fruit. I'm not even going to take all the fruit. Because it would be, be stupid to just sit here stealing fruit all day. Alright. I think I've stolen enough. Alright, we're good. Alright, now we're good. Alright. Punga fruit thing. It pretty much gasses us. You'd think the uh, the helmet would help, you know. It looks like it would it would vent, it would vent stuff, but apparently not. So we've we've activated that. I guess we're good to go. Time to uh, time to leave. Now we have to walk all the way back, and uh, we're greeted by a giant bobblehead, apparently of intelligence. You found a small tech limited edition bobblehead. Oh, it's actually a bubble head, apparently. The inscription on the base reads, Tisk Tisk, walked right into another trap. Exactly how stupid are you? Pretty stupid. Pretty goddamn stupid, apparently. What's going on on this rock? It's like Plymouth Rock. It's fun to do cannonballs off of it. Oh, sweet. We got another... Another vault tech uh, guy going here. It's like a bubble head. The inscription on the base reads, This is one situation you're not going to be able to fight your way out of. Nope, because we're definitely gassed to all hell. And, uh, this tree is a giant, giant instrument. They're all instruments. I think this was very well done in the DLC. You know, you're tripping balls. It's, it's awesome. The inscription on the base reads, keep it up. You're almost there, wherever there may be. Probably nowhere. This part was incredibly well done. Now you see a saw. Now you've got this random saw going on. And, uh, let's just continue on. This is Nuka... Nuka Coke bottles. Quantum. Just falling and blowing up with baby noises. Which is very odd. Okay, whatever. Whatever. It's cool. There's ghoul sounds. You're just basically tripping balls, seriously. Agility. Isn't it funny how everything you get close to ends up leaving? That's hilarious. It is the funniest thing ever very funny. So pretty much what people pretty much came up with, pretty. Sounds like something's chasing us too. What they came up with was that uh, this whole thing, at least the saw, and I don't know if I missed the needle and stuff. Let's read this real quick. Perception. This doesn't look right. Not right at all. We're not in Kansas anymore, Pip-Boy. I think we'll see a... yep, there's the needle. So people pretty much figured that the saw was the dude was someone uh, sawing into your skull and this whole thing is him sewing you back up. So, yep, if you didn't figure that out the first time around. There you go. Oh shit, look at this. Oh, I forgot. It's your mom. Uh, alright. <laughs> Black, if my kid looked like that, I'd abandon it too. Mom's dead. Come on, mom. Come on, mom, it's time to go. Oh, I can't. Oh, yep. Come on, Mom. I'm bringing you home. We got, Mom, we gotta go home. Come on. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Okay, fine. I'm leaving here. Fuck it. I don't have time to haul your skeleton everywhere. Who the hell is this? Oh, Elder Lions? Awesome. Yeah. Who's this? Oh, Amada. Yep, they're all dead. Who's this? Who's this? Moira Brown. I wish Moira would die. It's the one person I wish would just die. Ooh, luck. Yes. Dead mother, life in a post-nuclear wasteland, and not a friend in it. Yep, you aren't exactly blessed. Congra no, no, don't, don't try and get up yet. You only hurt yourself. Explosions. Yes, I love them. They're my favorite part of the day. Wish I could have brought my mom with me, but I don't think she likes to travel too much. Not having any muscles or joints anymore. Kind of, kind of hard to go anywhere. You know. Kind of hard to go anywhere. Ruzga the bear? You can actually find him. I forgot where he's at, though. 
I found him, I think, on uh, in my last little playthrough thing. Oh god damn it! Come on, what what weapon do I have? Oh, this thing, the uh, infiltrator or whatever it is. All right, so now we can actually fast travel back to where. Look at look at how far we had to walk. We had to walk from there to here, and then even more to get to the stupid punker fruit. We found that later on, I think. Flooded sinkhole, and I think we found that later on. Well, anyway, we have to go back to that place. Talk to the guys chilling out there. Uh, some jerk definitely just sawed through my skull and did something to my brain parts. The Statesman Hotel? You mean Tenpenny Tower? I love that place. Actually, that place sucks. Everyone in that tower is an uppity bitch or an uppity bastard. Oh, shit. Alright. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. We're now allowed in. What's up, bro? Truly, the Mother Punga has bestowed her wisdom upon you. And your mind has been expanded. Expand your mind, man. For a time... We feared your mind had journeyed too far from your body, and you had departed our world. But you returned to us again at long last. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcomed in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened brother. Cool beans. The Punga power perk has been added. You now receive better effects from eating Punga fruit. Awesome. All right, time to go in, talk to whoever. Escape. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Blah blah blah, dude. Blah blah blah. That's all I hear. That is that is all I'm hearing. The music in this game reminds me a lot more about Oblivion than New Vegas did. I know the I know the reasoning behind that. So before everyone yells at me about it, I'm just pointing out similarities. That's all I'm doing. Speaking of punga fruit, I should probably eat some of that before. Let's see, punga fruit, punga fruit, refined punga fruit, and wild punga fruit. Let's go ahead and get our health back real quick. Take some more refined punga fruit. Hope they don't mind me stealing all this shit. But I need to eat. I got I got family to feed. Who the hell do I even need to be looking for in here? Do I just need to ask questions or? Where are the quests at? Quests, quests, quests. Find the location of the tribal leader. Let's talk to. Hmm. Okay. Forgot who the hell we had to talk to. Oh look, it's Nadine. Looks like another newbie in the tribe, and still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? Ain't. You still remember your name? Math? How's your memory? When I came back. There were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? It's insane. But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back. Cut open your skull and free your mind. I think we have an audio glitch here. Yep. Or or the game's frozen. Which I believe it's frozen. So, well, looks like I'll be back in a little bit.